I'm gonna let I'm gonna lay some fucking facts down on you right now, dog. Yeah, listen up. You, you may be the big dog around here, but check this shit out. Yeah. I get credit for Joe. Hell yeah. I know. I remember where you introduced. We talked about this. Yeah. And you get credit for me. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Scott gets credit for Todd. What do you mean? Todd gets credit for Jeff. We're talking about friend origin. Oh, friend origin. Who brought origin. who in? Who brought who in? Yeah. Zayn and Heath get credit for you. I remember. I remember. Oh, yeah. Zayn and Heath brought me into the friend group for sure. Yeah. I remember when I met Joe. We were sitting at the Chateau. And it was a Chateau Vermont. That was the first time Joe made uh, like a move on me. And and, jo- <laughs> and Joe. And I fucking. True. I knew like he filmed stuff with you. And I knew it was fucking coming. <laughs> I knew. Because I knew. I knew Joe was the type of guy that was like. Like. Hey, I'm out here filming. I'll film whatever for you. <laughs> you know, Joe's very like. There's a lot of people like Joe. Um, it, I don't mean this in a bad way. Joe's like the my favorite out of all those people. But there's a lot of people like Joe that are so driven mm-hmm. and that will do. I mean, I guess this is just a good thing. There's a lot of people in LA that are so driven and they're like they'll they'll, they'll be like, here's my business card. Here's my business card. And I knew Joe was one of those people. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was sitting right right by you at the chateau. I just finished an apple. And I think, Jason, you were doing something else. Um, and it was just me and him. And he turns to me. I was on his left. And he looks right over his knee. And he looks at me. And he goes, uh, yeah, you know, I could, I, could, I could shoot stuff for you. I shoot stuff for Jason all the time. Like, I could help you out. <laughs> and I was like, there it is. He's like, there's the ask. I respect and I was, that. And I was like, great. Here, okay. Well, Joe's part of my life now. Did that I, really happen? 100%. I remember seeing you and Liza standing there at that part, the Vine party, like on Halloween. And I went over and introduced myself to you guys. And I introduced myself to like 100 Vine people party. Are you saying um, the... Uh, niche party. The niche party? Yeah. Oh, the when Josh Peck was there. And... Yeah, Jason brought me to a dinner with like 20 of the top Viners, like top of the top. And I just moved out to LA for like three weeks ago. I was like, how the fuck did I get here? No, the first time we properly interacted was the Chateau. Oh. But I remember that fucking Vine party too, the niche one. Bro, that was fucking crazy. There was a big Vine logo on the wall, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it was big green Vine logo. It was like the biggest fucking Viners. It was crazy being around Viners at the time. Right. Like when Vine was like pop, TikTokers now. yeah, but when Vine, but it was different. It was like um, it was the first of its kind. It was the first of its kind. And being around big Viners was like I remember once we went to Casey James' house and Rudy Mancuso was there or something, mm-hmm. and I remember Alex and I went to the bathroom and we were just like, "Wow, this is fucking crazy. <laughs> this is fucking crazy." Yeah. Um, and that was that was really bizarre. Addison told me. Addison Ray told me a really funny story. She said the first time we came over, it was her and Dixie, um, and she told me she's like, "We came over." And we just like got back from like hanging out. Like we met up, we met up with them at like Saddle Ranch. This was like nine or ten months ago. She said they came over and they went to go use my bathroom, both of them. And they said right when they closed the bathroom door, they just started fucking freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was so funny because like that's exactly like what I was doing like with all the other viners. Right. And then and then yeah, and then they just like become a regular part of it. Like that's the best part about this place is like you fangirl over all these people and then you just become their fucking friends. It's like so cool. <laughs> Well, the the one thing I'll say about Joe though, and I think it's a good lesson for anybody, is like he, if you want to like, I don't know, you always you were always like were really helpful, you know, you're a very value added kind of guy. You always I, brought more than you took. I give everything and I expect nothing. Yeah, and that's a Ooh. good way to be. Yeah, that's deep. That's really, really good, good way to be. Yeah, I give everything and I, remember, I expect nothing. I remember <laughs> when David started to like you. I was like, oh God, thank God. And when when did we first worked together, Jay. I remember. I know how I met you at the comedy you club. You the comedy club. But said, you said, you want to come by tomorrow and do this bit? Went in. I, I showed up at your apartment. Alex was there, who I loved. Alex was so funny, and I was like... But I remember for a time when we were filming, people thought you were replacing Alex. Uh, yes. And Alex was in the videos less, and you were in the videos a lot more. Remember how hard it was for people to like you? <laughs> yeah, I, I, you told me that you used to delete comments. Yeah, I used yeah. to delete comments so you wouldn't see them. I'm and, saying and, this now because people love you now, but I'm just saying people took a long time to warm up to you just because he was old. I'm they sure. were like, they were like, I don't like this. Like, like he's old, and you guys are young, and yeah. like people are just confused by it. But then like people like finally started to realize that you were like the funniest out of the group, and then they're like, okay, okay, he can stay. Um, I didn't, I didn't read the comments. Luckily, I was too old to know where to find the comments. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I would, I would, I would delete them because because people just weren't getting it. Um, <laughs> Thank you, David. Thank you for standing by me. That's that's pretty amazing. Yeah, Did no. you know Taylor's right now? She's with her friends at like a place in California, and the mayor of the town. Yeah. His name is Max, yeah. and he's a golden retriever. 
and he's the actual. It's, it's, this is fucking real. He's a real. He's the real mayor. He's the only mayor appointed dog. No way. And like he'll go around the city and he wears a tie all the time. He has no a tie. Way. <laughs> yeah, sort of. Jason was there. <laughs> um, oh yeah, he's a, he's the cutest golden retriever, Max. Um, What's his policies? Well, his policies are insane. That's why people don't like to move there. It's more bones. It's more bones. Yeah, it's more bones. It's more treats, and it's more nap times. So people just don't get any work done. This is him. He's adorable. Does he run attack ads versus opponent? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, he's stunning. Yeah, he's a gorgeous dog. He's like a very, very pretty dog. Oh my God. And and it's so funny because like you'll see the pictures of him, and it's he's called Max, the the Max the Mayor. That's all good. Is that why retrievers. Taylor went to that city? No, but it, it's oh, it's the town of. Idlewild. Idlewild. Oh, Idlewild. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Idlewild. Yeah. And he drives around in the back of a pickup truck and people will take pictures with him. And there's also some photos of him like outside like an ice cream shop, like sleeping on the ground, <laughs> which I think is funny because like no mayor in the world can be caught sleeping on the floor. Yeah. But like, but like this Max, this mayor, I guess is so busy that he will from time to time have to take naps in the middle of his duty. Sure. And I think that's so cool. Like he's so confident. Like he doesn't care. Like he's running the town, <laughs> which I'm surprised. Like, even the police officers, like that's my favorite part is like the police officers will come and take pictures with him like he's like the big mayor um he doesn't talk much though that's the problem but he's fucking uh, he's a golden retriever his name is maximus mighty dog mueller the second or max for sure short i'm not making this up he's been the mayor since 2014 <laughs> who was the previous mayor uh, I, I don't know but could you imagine losing the golden retriever I, <laughs> <laughs> I'd be fucking, I'd be furious. We're not far from it, from a golden retriever running for president. Really and people funny. are like, I don't know, man. He <laughs> makes some good points. <laughs> I released a puzzle the other day. Yeah. Um, it's called The $100,000 Puzzle by David Dobrik. And uh, I have to throw that in. Um, and it's a puzzle where if you solve it, it's fucking really difficult. And if you solve it, you can win anywhere from $0.25 cents to $100,000. And there's prizes, there's prizes in between, and I had no fucking idea. It's the best selling thing I've ever sold in my entire life. Yeah. And I had no idea it was gonna sell so good, and I'm really fucking scared. And I even made a story, and I was like, guys, like, buy the puzzle, but there's a good chance you're not gonna fucking win a hundred thousand dollars, like, you know. And uh, I think a little over like now it's like over like forty eight thousand people have bought Jesus this fucking thing, Christ. and it's like, and it's like that means, you know. A little over forty-seven thousand people are not going to win the hundred thousand dollars, and that's that's going to be a lot of disappointed people. And I want to, and like people are going in, they're like, "I bought ten puzzles," <laughs> and I go, "No, don't fucking do that." Like the port, the part, the, the the point of it is like you buy one puzzle, and it's like a fun thing that you can talk about when like family comes over, and they're like, "What's this QR code puzzle?" And then you explain like that you could have won money from it. Like that's what it's. It's not you're not actually supposed to do it because like you're trying to like get money for your family or yeah, like you're supposed to do it because it's something fun to do it's something it, it should the, 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 the way it should be viewed is it's a puzzle first and then there's a sweet little gimmicky thing on top mm -hmm. but I think people took it and they're like yes I won't have to work for the next year <laughs> if I saw 15 of these and I was like fuck guys this is not how it's supposed to be but yeah it's doing really well I want to give it a quick quick plug um, go buy it at the 100kpuzzle.com um, it, it's it's really sick. It's a really fucking tough puzzle, and it's really cool because it's only two colors. It's green and black, and it's a QR code. And the way it works is when you scan the QR code, it shows you what you've won. Uh, um, and you always win. You can win twenty five cents. You can win five hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, two hundred dollars, fifty cents. You can win all kinds of money. Um, and this, this was a this was a, a good win for you. You were up early that day. We saw you. Yeah, it was exciting. You, you were out. There's early. over two hundred fifty thousand dollars of prizes. That's how much money people Damn. can win. Um, so so it so it is really really cool. We're gonna do it this weekend. Yeah, good fucking luck. Yeah, I already, I tried at your house. It was difficult. Yeah, it's a bitch. <laughs>